Hello, Beaverton High School. Thank you for tuning in to BTV. I'm JJ Hines. And I'm Gaeta Hithy. Wishing everyone an early happy St. Patrick's Day. Today on BTV, we'll be sure to fill you in on all the new things happening around Beaverton. In case you missed last week's blood drive with the American Red Cross, here are BTV correspondents Steve and Alex. First time giving blood. Yeah. Um, what kind of motivated you to, to enter the blood drive? Well, um, I'm in health careers and a lot of people that I know are giving blood. And, uh, my family gives blood, so I thought it'd be good for me to do it. Um, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm excited. I want to do it. Um, why are you donating blood? Uh, any real purpose? Why? Um, well, my you know, blood donation could save someone's life, and that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, how are you feeling right now? I feel fine. I can go. I can leave if I, if I was allowed to. I don't feel sick or anything. Any motivational words that would help people come and get blood? It doesn't hurt at all, really. What is your role? I'm an MUA, which is a mobile unit assistant. And what I do, I process the blood when it comes up to me. And then I, uh, I seal it up and we get it ready to get back to the hospital. Why did you volunteer at the blood drive? Because with every donation you save three lives, it's like it's a good cause. Uh, what's, uh, what's your role here? Um, I am in charge of just like helping people stay calm, and, like move from place to place without them collapsing. All right. Um, do you enjoy what you do here? Yeah. All right. What is the purpose of the blood drive? Thanks, Jan. Uh, the main purpose is to provide the patients that are in the hospitals with uh, the necessary blood products so uh, to get better. Um, what's the benefit of having blood drive in fact? Schools are great for us to be able to organize that because uh, there's so many students that are here. Uh, our hope is that by giving them an opportunity to donate and experience to donate that uh, we really create lifelong donors. So it's a great experience uh, to, you know, to be able to do that. And uh, a lot of students are really excited about the fact that they want donations to be able to save their lives. Uh, what would you say the best coming here? I mean, we constantly need blood. It's not something that we can, uh, you know, man make. So basically, um, any time that we can do a blood drive is fantastic. Um, summertime is our hardest day of the year because schools are in session. And schools alone make 20% of our blood supply. So, um, you know, people who are interested in what? the summertime of doing blood drives. That's a fantastic way to, to really, you know, help out as well. And, um, how much blood is donated? It depends on the school and how many students. Um, we estimate today our goal is to collect about 102 units uh, from this blood drive. Which is fantastic. Um, our average business drive is probably right around the 30 unit mark. So to go back to the question of why schools are so important. Um, one school drive you know, can make, make up for about three or more businesses. Uh, so it's a really efficient way to go and it's a really good If you are interested in donating and miss the opportunity, Beaverton High School is having another blood drive on April 27th. Hey JJ, have you seen any of the artwork that's being displayed in our very own Beaverton High School library? No, I haven't, Gaeta. Well, here are Sierra and Terry with more information on the art show. It's called Artists and Renovations, and they are their business faces Cornell Road near the Bethany intersection, and it's a whole variety of work. It represents all levels of student art student that we have at Beaverton High School. There's a lot of photography in there. Um, it's kind of a combination of. My graphic design classes, um, photography, both digital and darkroom work in black and white. 
There's some graphic design. There's um, work from the IV class. There's some sculptures in the show. And so the uh, people that run the business titled the show Variations. There are 85 pieces of work in the show. We had some of the same types of work last year, but I think what largely makes it different is usually the IB students because of the nature of the home studies are the students' own choosing. Be sure to stop by the library sometime during this month to check out the art made by Beaverton students. Speaking of the art department, did you have a chance to go see Beaverton's production of And Then There Were None? I did, and it was fantastic, but don't take my word for it. Here are some of Beaverton's very own with information about the play and the upcoming student-written one acts. I look for somebody that kind of shows no fear, um, is willing to take a chance, even if it's completely ridiculous, uh, but willing to take a chance, willing to just show that they'll do whatever and they don't care. Um, they're making a big choice and maybe it's right or maybe it's not, but they're still making a big choice and doing something bold. Um, I look for somebody that has a positive attitude. I look for somebody that um, is going to work hard. Um, I, were, I look for somebody that is going to give everything they have and that's really what matters most to me. Um, definitely the people I would say because it's Everyone is so welcoming and like so nice about everything, so you always feel like you're at home and stuff. So, my favorite part is the um, community that it creates. Like, we all are talented, and we all can put together um, our different talents. And just this beautiful like mosaic of art, and it's amazing that it can come. Along. Just go for it. Don't like expect anything. Just jump into the opportunities and see what it's like. Maybe it's not for you, but at least you've done something. I would suggest um, going for it full on. Um, energy is a huge part of it. If you just completely throw away your inhibitions and just throw out energy and just be like, ah, blah, 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 <laughs> then you'll stand out. <laughs> If you're interested in auditioning for the One Acts, be sure to stop by room 174, March 12th through 14th after school for your chance to star in Beaverton's next production. If you enjoy being in front of the camera or even being behind the scenes, you should consider forecasting for TV news and documentary. Um, I try to make humorous videos. Uh, I make all types of videos, but there's videos starting from like the opening, and there's videos about um, businesses in the community that a lot of people like. Like, like Voodoo Donuts. I, uh, I did a video on that, and yeah. Um, I took uh, video journalism and it was fairly easy and I somewhat enjoyed it, so I thought I might just take this one too. Um, I've always been like a fan of all types of like you know like films, like uh, movies, and um, YouTube videos, and especially YouTube videos, and like I've always wanted to like know how to make all types of videos, and I've like had. Like, yeah, I've always wanted to like make videos and stuff like that, so that's why I joined.
uh, depending on what they like doing for schoolwork activities, you know, if they like recording things and editing them, then yeah, for sure. Definitely, it's um, we have so many resources and like so many like really good um, cameras and like um, software and like so many resources. And it's definitely a great opportunity for um, I, don't know, I, I would definitely recommend it to my friends. So. Uh, so we can capture things on footage and get more like stuff than just what happens at the school. So it's not so boring. Forecasting forms are available March 13th and due the 20th through the 21st. With other buzz around the school, here's Jackson with your announcements. Good morning, Beaverton High School. We have no school tomorrow on the 9th. Don't forget to not come to school. Plus, we got Social Awareness Week coming up next week, along with Daylight Savings at the beginning of the week. Plus, we got a choir concert on the 15th and St. Patrick's Day on the 17th. And we got Spring Break coming up on the 26th. So have a good day. Well, that's what's happening around Beaverton High School. I'm Gaeta Hithy. And I'm JJ Hines. Have a great day, Beaverton. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata.